my X-Men. Hello everyone, we are officially less than a week away from the premiere of X-Men 97 after two and a half years of agonizing waiting. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what's in store for us. Out of everything that's been teased for the show though, what I want to focus on today is Magneto, and specifically what his character arc is going to be in this new series. From the trailer that was released in February, Magneto's brief appearance near the end has a very sinister tone, implying that he'll be one of our primary antagonists. However, if you're familiar with the original series, you'll know that this isn't completely consistent with his character. While Magneto was introduced as an antagonist, he often found himself allying with the X-Men throughout the series, from as early back as the season 1 finale. After the failure of Asteroid M and the discovery of his children in Season 4, Magneto goes on to help the X-Men fight Apocalypse, destroy the Phalanx in the Season 5 premiere, and of course, save Charles Xavier in the series finale. I think it's important to note that these aren't random accounts spaced out between villainy. These are literally his last three appearances in the original show. The last one is especially significant, as Eric chooses to save Charles' life over starting the war against humans that he's always rallied for. This is a massive decision for him, and it shows just how much he cares about Charles that he would throw away his greatest desire for a chance at saving his old friend. And similarly, we get to see in Charles' final words how much Eric means to him in return. He even gets to stand in line with the rest of the X-Men in the final shot of the show, revealing just how significant his presence is. Taking all this information back to the 97 trailer, we can see how jarring it is for Magneto to be acting in such a villainous tone again, especially considering this show is said to be a direct sequel to the original series. So what happened then? Have the writers completely forgotten the past five seasons they're basing the show off? Well, no. And it all comes down to this. The last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. If you're confused why Charles would hand down all that he owned, the team that he loved, and the dream that he worked so hard for to Magneto of all people, I wouldn't blame you. Even if we do take into account all the times Magneto helped the X-Men in the history of the show, he was always independent of them. Why not hand it over to Jean, or Scott, or Storm instead? Well, to truly understand what is about to come for 97, we need to look even further back into their history. Not just the animated series, but to the comics. Now, Magneto's comic history goes way back. Like, way back, with his first appearance being X-Men issue 1 in 1963. After 20 years of acting as the X-Men's enemy though, Magneto gets a massive character arc in the 80s that I affectionately like to call the Headmaster Mags arc. In this period of time, Magneto has many experiences that cause him to reflect on his life and the actions he's taken to reach his goal of mutant superiority over the years. He comes to realise that though his dream for mutant kind came from a good place, he had become the very monster he'd hoped to destroy in the humans. After this, Magneto discovers that he's the true father of Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch, and while their comic history is an entire video of its own, the important thing for this discussion is that this causes Magneto to reassess his past even further. He starts the process of making amends with those he hurt the most, even if they aren't ready to receive it just yet. Also, this is totally just me looking into it too much, but I do think it's fun that a massive milestone on the path to redemption for both Comic Magneto and the animated series Magneto was finding out the twins are his kids. Alright, I, I just had to get that out of my system. Back to the comics. So, after standing with the X-Men and many other heroes against the Beyonder during the Secret Wars, Magneto actually decides to stay with the X-Men after the fight is over. From here his character only continues to improve as he gets closer with the team, and he becomes almost unrecognisable from the tyrant we first saw back in the 60s. The biggest show of this change is when Magneto hands himself over to the authorities to stand trial for his crimes in a comic infamously known as The Trial of Magneto. In this issue, Magneto takes responsibility for all the terrible acts he committed in the past, willing to accept whatever the outcome from the court may be. Before the trial is able to conclude though, the courtroom is attacked by the Strucker twins who seek revenge against Magneto for the death of their father. The trial falls into shambles, and in the aftermath, Charles is slowly dying from a heart attack. It's in this moment that he asks Magneto to take over the school, the X-Men, and their younger counterparts, the New Mutants. Magneto is naturally skeptical about this, but makes the promise regardless to honour his oldest friend. And just when all seems lost, Charles' space soulmate Lalandra appears, ready to whisk him away to a spaceship with far better medical supplies than Earth could offer. Despite this though, Charles holds Magneto to his vow all the same, and in Professor X's absence, Magneto becomes the new headmaster. Now, if you're familiar with the animated series finale, some of this probably sounds familiar to you. 
Charles is attacked at a hearing by an old enemy, causing his already weakened state to deteriorate into a critical condition. Just as Charles is on the verge of death, he is saved by the Shi'ar Empress Lelandra and taken off-planet for medical care, leaving Magneto and the X-Men to face the future in his absence. And these parallels are exactly why it makes sense that Charles has passed down all his belongings to Magneto in the upcoming 97 series. This is the iconic moment from the trial of Magneto, the promise to look after their shared dream. Except there's a problem. Charles never made Eric promise such a thing in the animated series. The vow Magneto made to Charles in the comics weighed on him almost constantly throughout the Headmaster arc, reminding him to keep trying and improving no matter how difficult the task may be or how much resistance he faced. But in Charles' last moments of the show, he says a fond goodbye to Magneto and his X-Men and then basically leaves them to it. The promise is gone, as is the passing on of leadership in Charles' absence. So what's going to happen in 97 then without this crucial piece of the story? While I think it's possible they could explain this away by saying Charles either had this discussion with Magneto in the past or made it a clause in his will, I think I have a better solution in mind. I think what we're about to see in 97 is Magneto's redemption, but in reverse. So instead of going through a grueling process of reflection and change before Charles passes on the role of headmaster, I think we're going to see Magneto soften and improve because Charles has put him in that role. The X-Men are not just going to let Magneto walk in, take all of Charles' stuff, and then order them around. Oh no, they're going to put up a fight. And those values of acceptance and peace that Charles has instilled into the X-Men for all this time will finally get to shine, eventually breaking down Magneto's perception of the world until he can see the error of his ways. And after a season of development, learning, and growing friendships, it would all culminate in the event that started it all for the comics, the trial of Magneto. Thanks to concept art, merch releases, and now glimpses from recent trailers, we can see Magneto not only wearing the same iconic purple M suit synonymous with his redemption, but standing in exactly the same pose as the cover of his Trial of Magneto comic. This makes me very hopeful for the future of Magneto in this upcoming series. And hey, even if this isn't exactly how it all plays out in the show, I'm still excited beyond belief to see where they go with this character. Magneto is extremely complex and layered, and there are so many facets of his story to explore, so many dynamics that they could finally bring to life on screen. I guess we'll all find out soon enough though whether Magneto is just slipping into his old ways, or hopefully taking the first steps on his journey to redemption. Please, for the love of god though, don't let it end like the Headmaster arc in the comics, okay? I will not be able to handle it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I've been waiting for this series to release from the moment I fell into the X-Men rabbit hole and it's actually kind of hard to believe it's almost here. No joke, I used to refer to 97 as the show that doesn't exist to my friends because I bought so much merch for it and yet there hadn't even been a single frame of the show released at the time. So it seemed only fitting that my first video trying out a new style would be based on it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little deep dive into comic history and the future of 97. I'd love to make more of these, especially as their new episodes start to release. So if that's something you'd be interested in, feel free to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have an awesome day.